Hi everyone, this is CC Cartwheel BSG coming at you with my week 36 BSG update. I had my surgery June 23rd, 2015 at Stanford Valley Care Medical Center in Pleasanton, California with Dr. Maria Stockery. My high weight was 266.1. My surgery weight was 256. Last time I came at you about three weeks ago, I was 176 even, and today I am 172.2. Um, so since surgery, that's been 83.9 pounds and total of 93.9 pounds. Um, I'm sorry it's been such a long time since I've uh, done an update. I've been traveling. I continue to travel. Phoenix is like my second home. Um, and I'm very pleased that um, that a couple of things. One is I'm traveling and I'm still managing not to gain weight, which is good. Um, my weight loss has slowed down and I'm totally fine with that. Um, and I'm pretty much on autopilot with eating. Um, but I'm at 172.2, um, and I guess this is the first time I've ever said a goal weight, but I want to be in a normal BMI range and I am 5'8". I don't know if I've said that in a while. I am 5'8". Um, so the high uh, of my normal BMI range is 163. So I would like to get at least to 163, which would get me at... If I'm 163, that would be a total loss of 103 pounds, so it would be over 100. So a couple things, I'd like to get to 100 pounds lost. I'm not in a rush, but I'd like to get there. Um, I'd like to get to a normal BMI range, which the top part of that is 163. Um, and that's what I want to do. Um, I've been listening to the weight loss surgery podcasts and in, and specifically Dr. Randy Seeley's um, podcast. And, you know, I realize that your body um, is going to do what it's going to do. Even if you are following an eating plan, um, you're, you know, there, if, if any of you are interested in checking it out, it's the weight loss surgery podcast. Look for it. Um, I've talked about it before. I really enjoy them. Rieger, Cortell, uh, host them. But there's two episodes in that Dr. Randy Seeley um, posts with Rieger, and he talks about how, you know, just because you have weight loss surgery or bariatric surgery doesn't mean that you're guaranteed to get to your weight goal. Um, your body's going to do your body chemistry, your body... Um, is going to do what it's going to do and you know your body makeup fights to defend a certain weight um i am hoping by doing what i need to do that i will still reach 100 pounds it's still a goal of mine so i'd like to so i guess my first goal is to get to 100 pounds i'm at 93.9 now um second goal is i'd like to get to my bmi normal BMI range, which the high point of it is 163, so that is nine point something pounds from where I am now. I'm not in a rush, but that's what I want to do. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I've been on autopilot traveling, um, but I've gotten back to basics since being home this weekend. I started journaling again in my fitness pal. Um, I also got a Fitbit Blaze. I'll show you what it looks like. It's actually pretty awesome. It's huge. Um, so if you don't like a huge watch face, then you may not like it. Um, but I really like it for a couple of reasons. One is the battery on it is awesome. I had the Fitbit Charge HR and the battery life on it drives me crazy, especially if you run the heart rate monitor. It'll last maybe two and a half days. Irritating. 
this you pop this out of its little setting and you charge it and I've charged it once since Saturday it's Tuesday and I still have over half the battery so I think it really will last um, a week I hope it will um, and we'll see um, I'm struggling with the total gym. I am using it. I'm fighting to build muscle on my arms. Um, but it's not easy. But I'm still struggling to use it, but I use it. So we'll see how it goes. I think it's a good day when I wake up in the morning and my arms are sore because I feel like I've done it well. <laughs> Scary, but that's my litmus test. My husband spots me, but I don't know. I'm at the point where I might end up going to a gym and getting somebody professionally to help because, I don't know, I get a little irritated. Um, other than that, I hope that you all have a great week. Um, I hope that everybody's doing well. I am watching videos slowly but surely. Um, I wish you all the best. Treat yourself well. Treat yourself wonderfully. You deserve it. Each and every day, do something special for yourself besides following your program. You're worth it. I'm worth it. I hope everybody has a great week, and I will talk to you as soon as I can. Hopefully next week. If I'm not traveling, I'll give you another update. All right, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.